relationship from other promoters because obviously they're not like always the yeah. we'll smile we'll wind them up we'll terrorize them we'll hug them at times um, we're here to work with them we're not here to try and put people out of business that might happen but there shouldn't be one person that doesn't look at this announcement today and go wow that's great for the sport all that money coming into the sport any, any time any money comes, even the PBC I never looked at the PBC and went oh this is ridiculous well, great for the fighters and now even better for the fighters are there any fighters that stick out in particular in America like two or three that you just absolutely want to sign that Deontay like Wilder Mikey Garcia, Charlos, Errol Spence, Keith Furman, Adrian Broner. Those guys are loyal to their promoter. You think no, they're, they're, they're they don't have a promoter. They don't have a promoter. Oh, oh, they're, they're, man, you know, they're managerial team. They all have a common thread there, Kenny. <laughs> Kenny, have you figured out your event coordinator? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll give, I'll give Lou a call. Uh, no, look, I, you know, I think this is a, a platform, actually, where all jokes aside about people like Lou DeBella. He has fighters that he needs to get out on shows. We're going to be working with all kinds of different guys. This isn't just about you must sign with Matrim to be on this platform. Yeah. Again, that is what I said about HBO and, and that kind of situation where there are fighters. I don't know, let's look at examples. Um, Dimitri Andrade. Like, other guys who are like, I don't know, Bivol, you know, who are like co- Shout out to Fight Hub. Um, that was Eddie Hearn. Again. Celebrating the billion dollars because it seems like he's aiming a chopper at the one and only Al Heyman, ladies and gentlemen. Every single fighter he named in that list of names, I believe, is represented by the man who runs boxing in absolute darkness. No social media. Nobody even has a picture of this guy. Al Heyman, ladies and gentlemen, is the iron fist of boxing. He is today's modern day god of war. Nobody knows who he is. Um, most people think that um, the CEO of Mayweather Promotions is Al Heyman. No, he's not. That's just the CEO of Mayweather Promotions, Leonard Ellaby. I also used to think that that was Al Heyman, but nope, he's not. I think Eddie Hearn is trying to take Al Heyman's spot, man. And with a billion dollar budget, he could. He could. You guys remember, uh, not too long ago, I think about six, seven, maybe eight years ago, when Floyd Mayweather signed the biggest athletic contract in history, half a billion dollars, something like that, right? Eddie Hearn just doubled that. And he has... Quite possibly the biggest name in boxing right now and in history, Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua is going to be a big deal, ladies and gentlemen. I'm expecting to see half of that money go to Anthony Joshua and then the rest goes to the other names he just named. We are looking at a resurgence, a resuscitation of some sort. Basically, the rebirth of boxing. The days of Tyson are over. Today is the day of the Joshua's, the Wilders, so on and so forth, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Hearn is going to be the man behind that, and he better not disappoint, man. That Wilder fight we wanted, everybody wanted. It's time for Anthony to put up or shut up. Right after that Wilder fight, I want to see Tyson Fury face up against the winner of that fight. And the loser of that fight. Because you never know, man. Boxing math may work may work out like MMA math. You know? They just chase around each other, beating each other. You never know. Oh, one of them could truly be an all-time great. A GOAT of his era. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'm out.